Well, hello there and happy Sunday to all of my Geminis. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Sunday reading, Geminis. I'm talking to you if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but anywhere in your chart. We're going to get right into it. If you have Gemini in your chart, that makes you flexible, outgoing, very funny, gentle, curious, affectionate, adaptable, smart, enthusiastic, yes. All right, Geminis, let's see what, your, what these cards have to say for you on this amazing Sunday. Don't forget to set your intentions to have a great day. Well, all right now, I love it, love it, love it. All I hear is ka -ching, which is nice. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. Yes, very nice. I see money, lots of it, as well as either a business partner or a love interest coming your way where you'll be creating legacy with, right? So get focused. The beautiful thing about this first quarter moon is it's in Virgo, right? So Virgo, you and Virgo share the planet Mercury, which is the messenger planet. So you want to be in receiving mode of what, um, what messages are going to come through to you. Remember, you know, you spoke some things into it. You're speaking some things into existence. Part of it is learning how to trust your own intuition, right? Somebody is tempted to trust their intuition again after encountering snakes, after having a Kundalini experience, right? See how this person is biting their finger? We're looking at the Seven of Cups here. So you're tempted, okay? Um, I got all these ideas. Should I, should I accept this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I do that? The answer is yes, 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 and yes, because source resides in each one of us. And so whatever you decide to take, whatever, whatever offer you decide to take, Gemini, source is right there to help lead and guide you. That is why first quarter moon in Virgo is so important because you get a chance to be very meticulous and analyze things and ask source, should I accept this? Should I accept this? Should I accept this? Should I accept that? And so if the offer is not made, you're not so disappointed that you feel like, you know, like you're being set up or something because you're not right. It's a lot of money coming your way, at least eight streams of income, but you got to be more conservative when it comes to your emotions, be more conservative. Some things you don't even need to respond to, right? If anything, when you have a negative thought pop across your mind about what snakes came across your path and they tried to bite you and they did this and that, replace it with, I'm so glad I had that encounter. I'm so glad because had I not had that encounter, no matter how deep the snake bite was, if I had not had that encounter, I wouldn't know to start trusting source first, right? Somebody is wiser or more knowledgeable now and they have a sword in their hand. You know exactly how to use your power. You have clarity of thought, and like I said, you're wiser and more knowledgeable. We're talking about this little owl right here. Yeah. Yeah, somebody is wiser and more knowledgeable because they're listening to source first. You're not just trying to adapt to a person, place, or thing. You're saying, okay, source, I'm going to adapt to you. So if I have any question about anything, I'm asking. Show me a sign. Show me anything. That's why prayer and meditation is so important. Mm -hmm. A lot of things are coming across your path. Somebody has been wondering if they're going to ever be in a relationship, a romantic relationship with the right person. Before, Gemini, you didn't know what to ask for. You just said, I just want... There's, a, there's a, so many layers to this. Let's say you're of a certain age. You may just say, you know what? I'm tired of being single. I'm ready to be with somebody. Or it could be... You know, I'm tired of re meeting the wrong person. Every time I feel like I'm being vulnerable, I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. Somebody didn't tell me something. They were hiding or whatever, hiding information or whatever. This is where you're going to use all of the past no's. And you are going to communicate whether it's in writing. Remember, you have the backing of uh, Mercury. Whether it's in writing or whether it is verbally, somehow you're going to communicate it to source. Because you already know what you don't want based on you have a, a track record of people that you felt like, okay, bit me like a snake. Now it's time to ask for what you do want, okay? If this is what I'm seeing for you all, because somebody has been overthinking this, like really ruminating over it. You don't need to give it another thought. As a matter of fact, you should be still getting your rest because we're still very much in first and uh, new moon energy, right? But this is what I'm seeing for you. 
I'm going to tell you like I told Libra because your your reading is your reading is a little different than Libra's in a sense. What's what's the same is that you all are you Aquarius Libra are all divine masculine signs and you're all air signs and the element of air connects to the heart chakra, right? So what I'm seeing across the board for all three of you is is love and I'm also seeing money in your cards, right? But for different reasons, not significantly different reasons, but for different reading reasons. What I'm seeing for you in Libra is, and I'm going to tell you like I told Libra, and if you want to go watch the video, um, please feel free. If you have Libra in your chart, please go watch it. This time, when you ask for love, that's if that's what you want, because not everybody's interested in being in a romantic relationship, but just if, right? You're going to, because this is you, your divine masculine to your divine feminine overseeing your inner child. That's what you didn't ask for before. Like, source, give me a sign that my inner child either feels safe with this energy or feels unsafe with this energy, right? That's what you're going to be asking for this time because there's a lot at stake here, right? Some people have been in relationships with people just because they saw money all over you. They saw earning potential. They saw the clubs and, and um, organizations that you were attached to. They just saw the energy of money all over you, even if they didn't see it in your bank account. They just saw your connections. They saw... Um, they saw the potential in you and they just wanted to latch onto that, right? Be more conservative with your energy. You don't have to overthink this. You just have to ask source first. Give me a sign that I would be safe in their energy. Give me a sign, right? Matter of fact, get your rest. Here we have the four of swords because the energy is going to, the closer and closer we get to the full moon, the more and more it's going to come through a dream, in a dream state. Source will tell you exactly what to sail away from, even if you feel disappointed. You got to be very specific about what you want in a business or just anything that you want. Be very specific because again, these people, this could be one and the same person. It could be a lover and a business partner, or they could be two different people, right? But nevertheless, you got to be more specific. This is not where you're just going to just go with the flow anymore. You can't do that. Because in the past, it made somebody very disappointed where your ancestors had to get you out of it. Your ancestor had to. And when I say that, I mean, source had to allow something so bad to happen to somebody where you had no choice but to move beyond it. Right? Yeah. So does your inner child feel safe with them in business? Do your inner child feel safe with them in a romantic situation, in a friendship, right? In any kind of a relationship. And so that's what I see that somebody's going to be doing differently this time and then feeling rejuvenated, almost feeling like a teenager again. So get ready for some good energies to come your way. And also I see somebody getting an increase. So a lot of money also is coming your way. Your, your emotions, when you look at these cards here, your emotions are tied to are tied to your money, right? You're going to have to tap in. You're going to have to tap in and start talking to source. And I mean directly to source. This is not what you're just adapting to. Oh, well, I'm, I, I'm at a certain age and, you know, and I just want to find somebody. No, not at this stage. You've been through too much. You're wiser and more knowledgeable now. It's time to be very specific about what you want. Yeah, there's some things that I like I said before that you're sailing away from that you have been disappointed for some of you all you may be sailing away from a job because you just feel like okay I'm just disappointed they don't appreciate me the way they're not um, they're not reciprocating um, or they don't seem like they're appreciative of my efforts you know something somebody feels very deep and passionate about it could be love it could be your money but again, I don't see where somebody is having an issue with money because I'm seeing a lot of ideas, business ideas come up and there's at least eight streams of income. But it's going to take you releasing some of this, these emotions attached to other things as it relates to love and replacing those emotions, not with complaining, oh, I can't find anybody and this and that. This is where you're going to have to say, I'm grateful for those experiences. I'm telling somebody like how to get their person. <laughs> I hope somebody is taking notes. 
I'm grateful for those experiences. Now I know what I don't want. And that's where it ends. I'm grateful for some of those friendships. Now I know what I don't want. So now it's going to make it easier for me to ask for what I do want. I'm grateful for some of those romantic relationships. I didn't lose any time or any money. I actually gained wisdom and knowledge, right? I gained wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, so I know what I what I don't want. There are some of your exes that were so disappointing. The relationship was so... You, you could have jumped through fiery hoops and followed them everywhere, and it was it still wasn't the right person. It still wasn't the right person. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Let's pull an oracle card. But yes, happy Sunday. Somebody's about to be very, very happy. <laughs> very, very happy. So we're not even full moon energy, right? Full moon um, is going to be on the 14th of this month, and it's going to be in Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion. I'm telling you, somebody better get to work and being specific about what they want. A new romantic cycle begins. That's what I told you. Didn't I say that? That's why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you all. A new romantic cycle begins. So, again... Hopefully it resonates with you. If it doesn't, just remember, only take it resonates with you. My information is down below if you want to create, if you want to schedule an appointment, if you want to schedule a personal reading, my information is down below. So soak in a bath. This is where water, water connects to our, you know, like I said, water connects with our emotions, our hormones, our creativity, all those things. Somebody has been overthinking this about who they dated in the past. Just be gentle with yourselves, Gemini. Please, you didn't know what to ask for before. Now you know specifically what to ask for. The opposite of that energy that you had. Take your power back from them. Take your power back to number 21. I am inspiring. That's right. You're inspiring more people around you than you realize. Number 21 means you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do, from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. Yes, your number is 21. Go ahead and soak in the bath and start speaking to Source. Letting Source know exactly what you want. But I don't see money as being your problem at all. And I don't see you even meeting your person, whether it's romantic and or business, because I know I see you all be like really just being very specific this time about what you want, right? So you don't need to overthink this. Can you trust your inner child with them? Can you? If you don't know, somebody better start talking to source. <laughs> That's what I have for you, Geminis, and I will see you on Monday. Remember, oh yeah, remember my Monday readings um, replace the shorts, right? Remember shorts are about one minute. So my Monday readings replace the shorts. So they, I try to keep it under five minutes, I haven't been so successful at keeping them under five minutes. I'm going to try to keep them under five minutes. So Monday are just motivational uh, videos. So you may get like a, a six card spread of just what I'm seeing there for Monday. It's just to motivate you because Mondays are uh, seem to be challenging for a lot of people. So I will see you on Monday. Bye.